Colonel Philip J. Corso's book, The Day After Roswell, goes on to outline the subsequent scientific developments resulting from the study of materials found at the Roswell saucer crash site. Microwave technology, lasers, malleable metals such as aluminum and even Velcro are said to have been designed from the alien materials. Corso served as chief of the U.S. Army's Foreign Technology Division and was a member of President Eisenhower's National Security Council. Corso went on to discuss the problems encountered in German and American experimentation with flying saucers in a 1997 interview with CNI News where he claimed scientists could never get a handle on the propulsion or guidance systems that an alien being recovered from the Roswell site was seemingly part of the guidance apparatus himself. On the evening in question, there was a terrible lightning storm and local Army 509th base radar monitors spotted two objects darting around on radar a few miles northwest of Roswell. The best guess for what happened next is that one of the unidentified flying objects was hit by lightning and lost control of its guidance system, which subsequently caused it to crash into the second object. Both objects came crashing to Earth, one due east and the other farther southeast towards Roswell. The Winchester Mystery House, located in San Jose, California, is a well-known mansion that was under construction continuously for 38 years and is reported to be haunted. It was once the personal residence of Sarah Winchester, the widow of gun magnate William Wirt Winchester, but is now a tourist attraction. Under Winchester's day-to-day -day guidance, its from-the-ground-up construction proceeded around the clock without interruption from 1884 until her death on September 5, 1922, at which time work immediately ceased. The cost for such constant building has been estimated at about $5.5 million. This would be equivalent to almost $70 million in 2008 dollars. The house was designated a California Registered Historic Landmark and is in the National Register of Historic Places. Sarah Winchester sought out the guidance of a spiritualist who told her that the house was haunted by the ghost of individuals killed by Winchester rifles and that only continuous construction of the house would appease them. Winchester said she had the feeling there was a curse upon the Winchester family because the guns had taken so many lives. The psychic told Winchester that thousands of people had died because of it and that their spirits are now seeking deep vengeance. Build a home for yourself and for the spirits who have fallen from this terrible weapon too. You can never stop building the house. If you continue building, you will live. Stop and you will die. There is another version of the story stating that the spiritual medium told Winchester that wherever she went, the spirits would follow to haunt her. So she built an outrageously confusing house and slept in different rooms every night to confuse the ghosts pursuing her. Personnel and guides at the mansion assert that the house features a central seance room that was not only utilized for spying on the domestic help but also used to conjure and communicate with spirits. The mansion is renowned for its size and utter lack of any master building plan, yet harbors trappings reflective of Winchester's beliefs and her reported preoccupation with warding off malevolent spirits. These spirits are said to have directly inspired her as to the way the house should be built. The number 13 and spiderweb motifs, which she considered to be lucky, reappear around the house. For example, an expensive imported chandelier that originally had 12 candle holders was altered to accommodate 13 candles. Clothes hooks are in multiples of 13, and a spiderweb pattern Tiffany window contains 13 colored stones. In tribute, the house's current groundskeepers have created a topiary tree shaped like the number 13. Also, every Friday the 13th, the large bell on the property is rung 13 times at 1300 hours, 1 o'clock p.m., in tribute to Winchester. There are about 160 rooms, including 40 bedrooms and two ballrooms. The house also has 47 fireplaces, 10,000 window panes, 19 chimneys, two basements, three working elevators, but only one bathroom. There are doors and stairways that lead nowhere in a vast array of colors and materials. Winchester inherited more than $20.5 million upon her husband's death from the sales of the gun that won the West, the Winchester Repeating Rifle. She also received nearly 50% ownership of the Winchester Repeating Arms Company, giving her an income of roughly $1,000 a day, none of which was taxable until 1913. This amount was roughly equivalent to $21,000 a day in 2008. All of this gave her a tremendous pull of wealth to fund construction on the large mansion.
Several different tours of the house are available, including flashlight tours at night on dates around Halloween and each Friday the 13th. Once in 1924, Harry Houdini visited the mansion for a private tour and seance.